going down, what's going down. Um, yeah, so that's what happens when you don't go and work the day before. Because it was going to rain out and didn't rain out and now it's raining out. <laughs> so typical, man. Oh well, we got to do some cedar shakes. A roof. <laughs> All the stuff that you don't want to do when it's raining out. It does look like it may be clearing out if you guys look in the distance there. Sure. Looks great. But, whatever. We're going to just do it. And we got some vinyl siding or maybe painted hardy board or something like that. Um, or clapboard, whatever the hell it is. I'm looking tired. <laughs> Sorry, guys. And, um, yeah. And some gutters to clean out as well at that same job. I think we have around three jobs going on just today. Um, I mean, yesterday we, you know, fixed up the website, softwashfactory.com, guys. And a lot of new products on there so definitely go check it out and also we are going to be updating a lot more on the website where we go but i was just camping just so you know that's why this truck here looks like this i don't know about this this is just to do some draw test <laughs> oh we got two tanks in there guys i just gotta hook up my four gallon per minute pressure washer i gotta go up into into boston and go work so I don't want to really bring this giant rig with me into the city, you know, so this is a prior client of mine. I'm really not in the mood going into the city, but they pay well and they're cool. They're nice. So we're going to go do it, but that will be mm, in a couple days. So we will be checking out how we're going to be doing this rig here and we got our elbow down there one and a half inch. And then we're going to convert it over to this one inch, I guess. <sighs> I don't know. We'll figure it out. But yeah, let's get into these jobs. And also, if you guys remember, this reel here was broken. The only thing that's scraping is this. Look at that. That thing is all out of whack though. It's all like bent or something. The shaft of the motor maybe? I don't know. Something's bent. And you can just look at that. Oh well. We're gonna use it. So yeah, got that chain back on there. <laughs> Needless to say. I'm filling up my water. And yeah. Looking pretty good on the water. Be nice to hit halfway. Because we are going somewhere where it's probably well water. So. And probably using the booster pump there. And also a pressure washer. Yeah. So let's go check it out. Welcome back to the channel, guys. David Harris here today. Me and Callum are out. Trying to get this in before it starts thunder and lightning on us. Um, no, one more outlet. Two outlets. We got natural cedar shakes up here, guys. Sorry, I'm really running through this. We got clapboards on the front. And we got some time. I think we're going to clean up these stairs for them as well. Not part of the contract, but I like to always throw something small in there, you know. And I don't know, it gives a lot of value to the customer. Right, so let's get it going. Callum's over there on that side, downstreaming. Let me tape this up and let's go. Here it is. The natural shakes right there. Flat bolts in the front, like we were just saying. Oh yeah. We'll see if the downstream works. It looks like it will. We're gonna apply the downstream mix, which is like a one and a quarter percent. We're gonna let it sit for three to five minutes and then we're gonna apply it one more time. The shingles are already wet because it's been pouring out earlier. So we're just applying it right to it or we would pre-soak them first. Oh yeah. All right, well, I'm gonna go hook up the uh, water. <laughs> oh, yeah, <I> <laughs> oh yeah, that'll happen. Woo. Hey, we got the back of the home, the wooden deck. Oh, dang, we got an outlet up there. I gotta grab that outlet. 
get this all hooked up, we'll be all set to go. So because it's not all just hooked right in, we strip the lines off everything. I just turn it on, run back. <laughs> like look, turn this on, I have to fix that. And I get two hands. So now, oh, just a little bit of a leak. I gotta run back. taped up before I can't tape anything. Whoa, this deck is slippery. Hey. Oh. Getting some pretty good results on that first spray there. Not bad. Perfect. Now it's gonna come out even nicer. A little bit more on the pipe up there. Oh yeah. Alright guys, I'm actually just pulling out a hundred feet of hose right here. And I'm gonna help cow them out. No, we did not spray the garage side yet. That is just what it looked like when we pulled up. So it looks like somebody went to town on it if you look kind of closely. Uh, it's kind of tough because I'm you know I got this on a GoPro and it's all like wide angle. And I don't know how to do Definitely redo a lot of this plumbing. To me and Calum were talking about yesterday. And it's so damn busy. I mean, obviously, we're talking about the peak wave or goddamn year. <laughs> just forget about it, right? I just haven't needed it. You know, not had no need for it so far. I mean, we could have definitely used it, obviously, but it is what it is. Had a lot of stuff to do, but we are gonna get into this even more right here. Got my waters on. Set up a set of keys. On the key. Hasn't been started in a while, like I said, I've been on vacation camping with the kids. All right, I want my coffee. <laughs> All right, oh, gotta switch over that flow pro. Like I said, I haven't been here in a while. Rinse, now both on rinse. Comes back here, just going after it. Yeah. Alright, cow went in all the deck. We don't even need to do the deck on this job, but let's see what it looks like when we're spraying this. Probably gonna look different, so probably just gonna give it a once over. Not like a whole full out restoration detail, but a little once over on it, alright? Let me turn up my machine now that I get it on rinse mode. Put my throttle there, there. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Woo. Put my coat in. Add a little bit. Let my water come out. I'm going to get my gun while I let that chill. What gun do we want? Which one? Which one, Dave? I'm looking at the 7 to 12 gallon from the M5 twist only on our MTM Hydro. You can get all this at softwashfactory.com. Our MTM Hydro SGS28. Probably one of the best guns. I like it. Very lightweight. Pretty small. I'm 5'8. 
No basketball player, so, you know, it's a good, it's a good gun. I throw it on the ground all the time. I wouldn't throw it on the pavement, but you know what I mean. Turn this up. Get to it. transformation right there guys look at Callum's work right there wow that right there that right there is the picture boom thumbnail it up ladies and gentlemen let's get to it and my mix will be coming out very shortly here So it is going to be pretty powerful. Nope. I wasn't on mix. Mix did not kick in. Ah! Wow, that is looking real good. Even with a second coat, the thing's going to look dope. Very nice, very nice. Here's that mix mode we needed. I knew it was a little too powerful. And again, I got a hundred feet of hose, so I know it's going to be a little bit more PSI action. There she is. That chem on there. Our bleach. Like I said, I got to go real slow. Like, I got, I'm in wicked impatience, so I'm always like, ah. But still got to go a little slow. Really get it nice and soaked. That cam actually can do some work because it's not like we're using a real high percentage here. Alright, got fan spray in a little tighter. It'll be okay. We'll live. I almost like it better on the seat of shakes. Alright, Cal, we're gonna finish up that back. I'm gonna come right over here. Okay. Alright, I'll be 
be right back and I'll show you guys what you like. Alright, I just finished off this side right here, Rinson. Well, this side Rinson guys. Looking really good, that gutter, beautiful. The seed of cake looking great. Um, check out the back here. I think we're done with the back. I was just touching up a few things. I think we're gonna do a little under that window there. A little dark. But overall. Oh yeah. It's looking good. Like I said, we weren't doing that deck, but we did just spray it down with um downstream mix as well. Which isn't gonna change it as much. We only did one coat on that. Yeah, and it's not part of it, it's just so it doesn't get a bunch of spots all over it. That is also told to the customer that it will be sprayed down. It will be changing a little bit of the look, you know. I'm gonna clean off this propane tank. It's always a nice gesture. Why well, leave it like that? Probably clean that bottom section of the brick here. A little right there. Yeah, should be good. All right, y'all, we're gonna go out in the front here and we're gonna be doing the clapboard. It's all set. Kyle's finishing up, touching up a few things out back and everything. And then we will show you guys a final wrap around of the whole house. Kind of cut through right here. Got my outlet all taped up. Boom. Here we go. Got a lot of nice bushes out front here and plants, so don't want to be messing all that up. Get everything nice and wet. Get a mess here. Again, we're gonna clean that right up for him. Oh, get my money. I wrecked the damn thing. Jesus. All right, so go right into mix mode here. And I think Callum already did these. Did those clapboards there. Cedar Shake's looking good. You did that part of the dormer. That's nice. Nice of them, right? Yeah. That's going to be looking good right today. Is Oh yeah, there it is. There's his mix. Yep. Clapboard is going to be looking like they were just painted. That's what you're hoping for? <laughs> That's usually what they look like when they're real dirty though. People are like, oh man, I was going to get that uh, all painted and now I don't. They're like, yep. Yep. Alright, open that up. Hit this gutter up. Do a little bit more on that. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna start over here at the truck. We're all done. Just gotta wrap up our hose. We're gonna let it give us a little extra water. Whole home is looking really good. Again, we weren't doing the deck, but we did spray it down once. Underneath that window, I think just has some water damage, really. So it's not coming out as good. Usually under the windows are a mama to get, so surprise it looks as good as it does. The thing there is looking good. All that black will not come off. A little specks there. Again, that's not part of it. Chimney isn't part of it either. But yeah, it is looking really good. At the end of the day, it is wood that's been sitting out naturally, not sealed, out in the weather for God knows how long. And for that, we say that this looks beautiful. You know? Windowsill is looking really good. Downstream mix took that all off perfectly. Stairs looking really good as well. I'm sure they will be happy when they come home. Right. So we'll catch up with you. Check out the website, softwashfactory.com. Peace.